Ah, uh, hello football fans. I am way late with this video review because hockey was <laughs> hockey had just started and I was very wrapped up in the opening day that Tuesday and of course the Avalanche kicked off the season Wednesday. And so here it is, hours before week six starts, and I'm gonna give this little I'm gonna try to be quick when it comes to uh when it comes to uh, week five. So, um, I'll just say this. I'll just say this. I am tired of Packer, of Packer fans, I have to air quote it, picking on the guy wearing this. Yes, he threw three picks. One of them was the, one of them was the receiver's fault, and the other should have counted because somebody pushed off Kristen Watson, and that was pass interference, but the Raiders got away with it. Yet, Yet again, Packer fans, these pa Packer fans are saying nothing happened. These are not Packer fans. They are idiots that didn't watch the game and somehow hate the Packers for some reason. So bottom line is we got jobbed by the officials because it was Vegas. The ga game was in Vegas and they had money on the Raiders. Um, elsewhere, of course, the Cowboys got killed by the Niners, which is what happens when you have Mike McCarthy as your coach. I'm serious. The government got rid of a gibbering, a gibbering brainless moron named McCarthy. Why can't Dallas do the same? <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't let Dak throw any passes. That's why they lost that game. If you, you, know, you know how you know how the you know how the saying in the you know how that phrase of assistant Broncos got Russell Wilson. Let Russ cook. Let Dak cook. That 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 idiot wouldn't do that. Like I said, we Packer fans, we warned Cowboys fans about him. Now he's ruining Dallas. And um, I mentioned the Broncos, because the Broncos lost to the Jets. That was supposed to be a revenge game, because, you know, Peyton ran his mouth about Hackett. Which, well, he was right. Hackett is an idiot. But Denver somehow still is not winning, even with the ex an experienced coach like Peyton. I feel, sorry for, I, I feel sorry for Sean Peyton. He's got that great pedigree, and he's never had a real quarterback. He had Drew Brees, who had a knack for snatching the feet out of the jaws of victory. And let sorry teams like the Vikings beat him. Thank God I'm a Packers fan. Because Rodgers blew out everybody. And he has Russell Wilson who has a terrific knack for fucking up. He fucked up that, that game. They lost that game because he fumbled. And it was run it was, it was was um, run back for a touchdown. Again, thank God I'm a Packers fan. Because Jordan loves better than that. But, um, yeah, so Hackett got his payback. But at what cost? I don't know. But... <laughs> Um, Jags won in London again. <sighs> and the Jags won in London again. That's their second home because, you know, Jaguars always sent there. This is back when they weren't that good. Of course, the running joke was, back when they sucked, was uh, we're trying to kick them out of the country. <laughs> uh, uh, the Steelers won an ugly game against Baltimore. That game was something else. I mean, Baltimore had so many chances to win that game. Problem was, Problem was, Lamar is surrounded by idiots on that team. So many receivers drop passes. It's ridiculous. So many drop passes. See, this is what we were, this is what I and other people were trying to say regarding Lamar's situation. Lamar and Tucker, pretty much, they are the Ravens. You know? <laughs> Lamar represents 90% of that team's offense, and the rest of it is Tucker. Nobody else is any good. Yet, people have the nerve to say... Uh, Lamar sucks. He's not a quarterback. Those are the white supremacists saying that he's not a quarterback. Um, and and when and when the time comes and he was looking to get a well deserved payday, they they called him greedy. They called him selfish. You know they would never call a white quarterback this. <laughs> uh, but um, they they called him greedy and selfish. And when he was injured, they called him a quitter. That team can't function without him. It's about time these morons realize that. The proof was right there that Sunday. He's all by himself. Well, it's just him and Tucker. The goat of kickers. Unfortunately, unfortunately for... Um, unfortunately for Lamar, Tucker doesn't catch passes. So I'm pretty sure he could do it better than the morons he was throwing it to. But yeah, uh, speaking of morons, the Chicago Bears... I should say the Washington Commanders because they lost to the Chicago Bears at home too, forty to twenty. The Bears 
just mollywhopped Washington, 40 to 20. The score was worse than that. But um, mm. yeah, the, yeah the, the, the Bears hadn't won in almost a year. And of course, um, uh, it was right, it was like about an hour, a couple hours before kickoff that the heartbreaking news uh, broke in that Dick Buckus passed away. Of course, Dick Buckus, one of the great. One of the greatest players in Bears history, one of the greatest players of all time, legendary linebacker, number 51 for Chicago. Um, what would, def, would definitely be on a number of Bears fans, Mount Rushmore. I'm pretty sure uh, uh, Brian Erlocker and probably Bear Bryant, and of course, sweetness, Gary Payton. I think uh, Gary Payton, Walter Payton. Where's my fucking head? <laughs> Gary Payton, my goodness. Um, Walter, <laughs> yeah, Walter Payton. I'm leaving this in. I'm leaving this in because I want to get this over with. I'm not going to start this video over. But uh, so consequences be damned regarding that grievous um, Freudian slip. But yeah, Walter Payton, sweetness. That would be the Mount Rush. That would be the Mount Rushmore. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, eighty years old when Buck is passed. And the sentiment is the Bears won for him. I believe it too. That was the inspiration. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much a lot of the notable things that happened. Not much else happened. The Patriots got blown out. The Lions blew out the poor Panthers. Poor Panthers. Uh, Kelsey got injured but got back in, scored a touchdown, and the Chiefs barely survived the Vikings, even though the Chiefs should have beat them by 30 points. But a win's a win, I guess. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Now for week six, which begins in a few hours. Um, uh, the Broncos play the Chiefs, so the Chiefs have another bye week. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the Broncos go to go to Kansas City to face the Chiefs in this AFC West battle. That's that's tonight, and we got another London game. It's the it's the Ravens heading to and the Ravens and Titans heading to London to face each other. And I think the penalty should be if the Ravens lose. Only Justin Tucker and Lamar Jackson should be allowed to return to the U.S. I really think that should be the punishment here. <laughs> uh, the Vikings and Bears play each other, and that's going to be too straight for the Bears because the bad news came in Vikings camp. Justin Jefferson's on the IR. Yeah, the Vikings are kind of throwing in the towel here because they already got rid of everybody good, and now their only means, of, their only other means of offense is on the IR. The story is they're trying to trade uh, Kirk Cousins. <laughs> the Jet, they, 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 I've heard uh, Jets, are they, Jets are trying to get him. That should be interesting. But yeah, so the Vikings and Bears play each other. Uh, Colts and Jaguars in the AFC South battle. Lions play the Bucks. Bucks are good. Hopefully they beat down the Lions because the Packers are off this week. So are the Steelers. Those are the only two teams with advice. Uh, Bills, Bills, Giants, Sunday night, Sunday night game. Cowboys, Chargers, the Monday night game. That's going to be interesting. So that's my brief, well, semi-brief recap of week five. If you like this video, click, if you like this video, click the like button. Uh, YouTube, could subscribe if you want more on, on TikTok. Um, feel free to hit that follow button. My story about week five will be featured. Check it out when you can. And I'll be back. I, I, I promise, I promise, I promise I'll be back on time to recap week six. I could be back later, either later tonight, early tomorrow, in case tonight's baseball game ends, because it's game four between the Phillies and the Braves. That's the only series left, and it's the Braves face elimination again. So if that so if that series is completed and Philly advances, I could review it. I could review the division series either later tonight or as soon as early tomorrow, but I will get it done. So that's all, that's, that's what I've got to work on. So uh, stay tuned for all that.